Winston Williams has been driving a dollar van on Flatbush Avenue for over 25 years. Winston is one of 297 licensed dollar van drivers in New York, but with rising enforcement by the NYPD, Winston fears that driving a legit dollar van may become unsustainable. Over the last four months, Winston has received more than 40 tickets by the NYPD. Before the current rise in enforcement, he would usually get about 15 tickets in the same period. So right now I have about four tickets here. So that could cost me, let's say, $800. So if you have $800 in attorney fee, take coming off the day off, off the street to or, or off the road to go and deal with the ticket, get the date as well as to fight the ticket. Talking over $1,000. Hmm. What happens when you come off the day, come off the road from your job to go get a court date? You're not working. And when you set that court date, you have to go back now to defend the ticket. That's another day off the road. What is that? Another cut from my salary for me to be able to pay my bills. Dollar vans service areas in New York that have little or unreliable public transportation. On a daily basis, commuter vans, which are otherwise called dollar vans, transport over 100,000 commuters in the city. Driver view obstructed. I had dreads and I put three dreads of my hair, which is about thick as my fingernail, hanging down here. And he yeah. said that I was obstructing trap. Um, that was obstructing my view. Whereas right now, those three stickers that's required on the vehicle is obstructing my view. They are targeting your license to try and get your license, let's say, suspended or revoked. Whereas, I'll give you an example: if I pull over close to a curb to drop off a rider, they would then say that I'm obstructing traffic, even though I'm next to the curb. The alleged harassment that Winston faces from the police isn't limited to Brooklyn. We spoke to a total of eight dollar van drivers, and all of them said that they had seen an uptick in tickets. Hector Ricketts is the president of the Commuter Van Association, an organization that represents the interests of legal dollar vans in New York. Ricketts also owns Community Van Transportation, which operates around 140 vans in New York City. What we've seen is a pattern of operators, whether they're in Brooklyn or Queens, their uh, conduct is similar. Their right numerous tickets, tickets that are unjustified, tickets that are often dismissed in court. One may say that because a ticket is dismissed, you have won. But uh, time is money. Make sure all the levers water up, the brakes, and then you check the engine oil, check the transmission oil, make sure all the fluids are open. Gladstone Barrett, another dollar van driver, fully inspects his van every morning to ensure that in case he gets pulled over by the cops, they cannot find more reasons to write him tickets that can cost anywhere between $75 to $500 each. You have to have your fire extinguisher up, you have to have your first aid kit, you have to have your flare I make sure that the tire is okay. I make sure that my hile is up. I make sure that my light is working. I make sure that my hand is working. And I make sure all the doors are opening and closed properly. Once they stop you and they check and everything is okay, they still find right a ticket to bring come give you for no reason at all. In spite of the fact that we are the ones who have asked for enforcement, but we've asked for enforcement to remove unlicensed operators. And we've asked for enforcement to check licensed operators to make sure all is well in terms of safety and regulatory requirements being met. But um, we feel that we are being pressured. The fact is you cannot talk to them because if you try to say anything, they, I don't want to hear anything. If they stop you, say, why are you, what is the reason why you stopped me? Because you didn't have a reason to stop me, right? Just give me your driver's license and registration. No other, no, they give no explanation. A ticket that could be written in, let's say, five minutes would take 15 or even a half an hour to write because they may be going through their book. And that is another way, I think, of them being able to discourage the riders them from riding with us or even, again, it's taking away finance from us because the riders them is not going to sit and wait for half an hour to get to work or where they want to go, when they know they're already taking this to try and get to where they want to go as fast as possible. 
there's a lot of complaints in the community about dollar vans and how they drive and stop in the middle of the street or going on double yellow line and all that type of stuff. I am not one of those characters. I run a legit company and try to um, be a reflection of MTA itself. I just want to be able to provide a legit beneficial transportation service to the community, right? When these officers come out here and start slapping you left, right, and center, if you accumulate a certain amount of points on your license within a year, your license could get suspended, as well as your insurance company would raise the rate on you because they would consider you a high-risk driver. One of the actions they took uh, uh, was to remove the commuter vans, licensed commuter vans, from a legal loading area that we've used for over 15 years. And they have dumped the licensed vans uh, in an isolated corner uh, where there's no infrastructure, poor lighting, place that floods. Flatbush Avenue has about 20 vans that are legally allowed to operate on the route. But Winston fears that if enforcement carries on this way, the cost that comes with the tickets and the rising insurance payments may force many operators, including himself, out of business. The NYPD did not respond to multiple emails requesting comment on the story.